you, you say you do a lot of kicking and um, and kick development. D g give me something that you would do, uh, you know, maybe on a regular basis to to work on, um, you know, that leg endurance. Let's say. I would say, and I might have mentioned this at the at our little forum. I can't remember if I did this, but again, this is something small that I stole a lot of years ago, and I, basically everything I've, I've done I've, is a rehashed plan of something that I've heard from some other successful coach. So this is probably something I borrow, but doing folded arm back dolphin as a precursor to anything I'm asking my kids to do fast underwater at the surface uh, on or off a board, I think is a great way to sort of uh, rev the engines. If you think about like a drag race car that just before it goes, it spins its tires really fast. So they get the tires hot and they get more traction. I think when you, isolate the vessel, the vessel in this case being the swimmer's body, from that normal streamlined position to a folded arm. It's basically holding your arms in that position above your head while you do back dolphin or stomach dolphin. You can do it with a snorkel on and do it fast in 25s, a series of 25s. It can be, we typically don't do more than two or four in a row. And then we just go back to that and might do that three or four times. I, I wouldn't say there's a week that goes by where we don't do it at least two or three times as a prep foundation to get ready for whatever we're doing kicking wise, whether it's a long set or, or a, you know, all underwater 15 meter fast set. I think it really gets that engine. It gets every part of your core, which you have to be engaged for those kicks ready to go. And we often find a lot of our kids without me having to remind them when they're warming up, not necessarily at the beginning of the morning, their large warm when they're warming up before their races, if they have a, hunter fly or hunter back or another race that dictates a little bit of fast underwater work, they're hundred percent utilizing that folded arm dolphin to kind of get that, that core ready to go. So that's uh, probably one of my more standard go-tos on, on kicking sets. I would tell you every variability you can come up with and that everybody's done over the years is in play. We do some for volume. We do some for intensity. We do mm. uh, hypoxic. I find that, what ends up being the most successful for me is in any given week. I, and again, this is a gross generalization, but I say between 35 and 40% of my volume of the week is kicking of one form or another. And mm -hmm. I would say early, early season is probably larger. And then it drops down and says you want to rest the legs the most for big competitions. It drops down to lower percentages as you get into the rest, rest, uh, rest phases. But um, I tend to do one set that's going to be challenging aerobically and it, it can be, I don't limit myself to distances. I love doing some longer kicks with fins where you're asking them for consistent underwater kick count, whether it's big kicks. I know Dave Durden does a lot of big dolphin kicks, small dolphin kicks. They do a lot of stuff on their side. I, I like that type of stuff where you're asking them to just be honest with movement um, over longer distances. And again, I think the, the length of the distance doesn't matter. It's a question of creating some consistency and number of kicks or breakout points and the types of kicks and getting comfortable in all, all kinds of positions. Um, I like to do a lot of speed kicking off of resistance. And again, uh, there's so many things you can do. I mean, people use drag socks. Um, people will even kick with parachutes. Uh, there was the old thing of uh, tombstone kicking where you keep the board upright and half buried in the water. So you have that resistance. You can mm -hmm. do any and number of those things, but I don't do those to just fatigue the legs. If I'm going to do something like that, I might do 325 tombstone kick and then go a 50 all out, no board kick, uh, you know, flutter and see what you can do. Right. Yeah. Or, or whatever the combination is. And, and I think at times you have to get even creative as to where you place the fatigue you know, sometimes you might want to fatigue the legs early, like I just said, 325s, and then do something fast to work on closing end speed. Maybe you want to do a fast 50 up front all out and then go 425s with some form of resistance. Maybe it's a parachute and then come back and see if you can have another 50 that matches your initial 50. And you go right. 100, and it's 100 easy off after that. You You can mix that up and that's your own creativity, but I don't like doing – resistance kicking just to have resistance. If I'm going to do mm. it, then I want to see something fast as a result of it. And mm. 
we do that, as I say, we're trying, I think I said this at the conference, where we try to do more measurables this year, and we're trying to do uh, more measurables like this year with kicking, uh, pull-ups, or pulling, because we haven't really, we've always placed emphasis on it, but we haven't put down a measurable for the kids to see. And I think some of our kicking measurables have already shown, at least in my opinion, some really good feedback. Our, our ability to hold what I would consider race pace kicking speed over duration and a, you know, a set amount of uh, uh, repeats has improved immensely. And I, that to me, I, we'll have to wait and see how that you know, works in terms of when we rest. But right now, I think our legs are in a better place than they've been. And, and I would and you, I, well, I was going to say, would you test that on like a one rep max to say like, all right, look, we're going to do a, a hundred all out for time and, and test if the hundred time is improved. I would say yes, yes and no. I would say yes, absolutely, but I think that's a little bit further into the season. I think up front, my measurables are a little bit more based on repeats, similar to if you were doing a Saturday eight 100s on eight minutes, dive from the blocks and you're trying to go. That's maybe something you do in September, October, but if you're getting into late November, you're probably only, or early December, you're maybe doing you know, one, two, or three of those 100s, maybe even on a, a, you know, 10 minutes or 12 minutes, right? So I think with kicking, that's probably the, the truth. I think right now we're, we're a little bit more on the higher volume side of measuring our kicks. Like the last kick test we did was nine 100s on three minutes, um, and it was a great test. When we get to the end of the, especially when with our speed guys, I'll be measuring 25s and 50 speed you know, on a one-off when we get into probably for us mid-November on. And so they're, they're big meat, maybe even a little bit earlier, depending on the athlete. Um, some of them who tend to have longer swims might be measuring off of a, a 150 or a 200 um, and having it be more of a steady state, strong kick, something that they can manage over a longer swim. But up front, I would tell you that the primary difference is up front. We're probably doing more repetitions of, um, and then, you know, in any sort of 10, 12, 14 week cycle, sort of creating a, a downward trend towards how many reps we do so that hopefully you're getting that one special performance. I'd even go so far as to say, well, this year we'll do it for sure. When we do our final suited test set swims, um, you know, two weeks, three weeks out, one of those will be a kicking effort. Um, you know, I think right now, if I'm playing around my, with, in my head, it may be something like two 100s and a 50, the two 100s being swim and the 50 being kick. I don't know what order yet. I'm still kind of debating in my head what I'm going to do with that. But mm. I would tell you that I think as far as measurement and performance, that's going to be, you know, get your race suit on, go all out 50 back golf and ready, set, go and see how that sets you up for your 100 back yeah. or your 200 back, you know, depending on. I like that. So, oh, well, that's, a, that's some good stuff there that people can take away from 